host, Miss Silla Black. Welcome to Blind Date. And we've all been on Blind Date, haven't we, girls? Yes. What did Harriet wear on her first date? It was a lovely skirt, um, multicoloured, I believe, um, a red top, I think, Harriet, and um, um, a pair of quite tall shoes and it made me look really small. So that's, I think, what you wore on your first date, how you? It was definitely me. Question two, who said I love you first? It was definitely me. And we were in London um, after having met Rob and it was quite early on. Followed closely, of course, by Harriet saying that she loved me. Um, who's better at kissing? Definitely Harriet. And she gets all the tone involved as well, which sometimes puts me off, Harriet. <laughs> what is Harriet's star sign? I know she was born on the 10th of November. Her star sign, I don't know, but I'm going to guess that it is a... Capricorn. I don't know. <laughs> What's Harriet's weirdest thing? Harriet's weirdest thing is definitely any time we're in a room or anything like that and she leaves the room, she switches off the light. I could be there, but she switches the light off. It really does my head in. Harry's most embarrassing crush. She's got two, and um, first one I think in priority is Anthony Joshua because uh, she never stops talking about him, and the second one is definitely Edris Embra. So there could be something wrong with me here, I don't know, but that's her one and two crushes. Which Disney character is Harry most like? Cinderella. If, if Cinderella is a Disney character, which I think she is, um, I think it's Cinderella here. Yeah. Number eight, who is the tidiest? Definitely me, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, because she keeps on leaving her rubber gloves um, on the table, in the kitchen, everywhere, and I tell her to put them away, and she never does it. It's me. best cook. The best cook, I think, in fairness, would be Harriet. Um, I'm definitely the best baker, and there's no shadow of a doubt, because I can stick to the recipe, Harriet, of course, and you can't. So, you're the best cook, and I am definitely the best baker. Who is most likely to deal with the spider? It's definitely going to be Harriet, and the way she will deal with it is... It depends on her mood, really, because if she's in a bad mood, it's definitely a crusher. And if it's not, it goes out the window and she's really peaceful and zen about it, so... Um, it's her. What is Harriet's worst habit? Oh, that's a tricky one. Oh, her worst habit, gets up early in the morning and decides that I've got to be up at 6 o'clock in the morning and I'm not an early person and I want my sleep. And her worst habit is uh, tickling me to get me out of bed or doing something like that and it does my head in. So how it stop? <laughs> Harry's 
pet name for me. She's got a few. Um, I think her favourite one uh, um, that she has, she calls me Loving. And it's a bit of a weird one because Loving is um, uh, kind of not necessarily an Irish phrase, but you can always put an E in at the end of any kind of term of endearment, and it makes you feel uh, it makes you feel really small. So Loving is probably her favourite phrase. For me. What is Harriet's favourite thing about me? I think Harriet's favourite thing about me is that um, I don't necessarily or ever really get upset with her. Um, and we have a good giggle together and we understand, appreciate and respect each other. So I think that's the most important thing. What is the most thing Harriet's likely to um, end up in jail for. Um, Alright, there's two things here. The first thing is definitely she's going to punch someone you know, if she's in a bad mood. It can be male or female, but it's definitely going to happen. And the second thing is that I have a sneaking suspicion that she's got an ability to steal. Disgust. <laughs> I've got to be really cute on this one, Harriet. The, the thing that you're going to go viral on is something to do with music, of course. Or, indeed, it may well be that you've got some stories, um, for kiddies' stories or something like that, that you put online. I don't know, but uh, that's probably the most thing you're going to go viral about. Definitely anchovies. Without a shadow of a doubt, she cannot live without an anchovy, and there is no point even offering her pizza if it doesn't have anchovy on it. Um, what is Harriet's bra size? I don't know. I mean, she's got a lovely pair, shall we say. So if it's a bra size, just have a look there. It's a nice size, Harriet. I don't know what size it is, but I get to look at them every night, don't I? <laughs> what is my shoe size? My shoe size is nine. What celebrity couple are we most like? Definitely Ewan McGregor and definitely Charlene Spiteri, without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> Harriet's most prized possession that she would save in a, in a file? The answer is simple, Harriet. Isn't it me? Apart from me. <laughs> Apart from me. Mm. Her violin. Who will be the most hungover after the wedding? Harry will always promise that she's not going to be hungover, but in this instance, it's definitely going to be her. Too much Prosecco, Harriet. Too much Prosecco. <laughs> Who has had the most exes? Mm. I have to confess, it's probably me, Harriet. time for this week I'm afraid but we will be back next week when we'll be seeing how Sam and Nadine and Antonia and Steve enjoyed their dates together and of course we'll be arranging some more blind dates so until then it's Tara for now Tara everyone <laughs>
We're currently looking for contestants for the next series. So if you'd like a chance to be on Blind Date, please call 08705 11 Your call will cost no more than 10 pence.